Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday, you guys. And happy Mother's Day, you guys. To all my beautiful mothers that watch me, all my beautiful friends, if you are a mother. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. Um, so right now, it's about 11. 40 in the morning I just got off the phone with baby girl we were talking for like 30 minutes and it was so cute because she left me a message I was I slept in y'all I ain't gonna lie and she was like it was like hi mommy this is Kai Kai calling to say happy mother's day I was like oh thank you baby so when I got up and brushed my teeth and, and got myself well, that part together I called her back and she was talking telling me how she was going to dinner with her bonus grandma her godmother and um they were gonna have a sleepover and stuff so oh I just love to hear my baby be happy and that she's having a good time. I love that she's, you know, happy, you know, because with all what's going on, it's hard for the kids to find any, like, anything to be happy about or excited about. So when I when I find things that she gets happy about, it makes me happy. So today, you guys, I'm not really doing too much of anything. I am about to get myself together as far as getting dressed and just put on some clothes and um i have the neck bones in the crock pot right now i got up at like nine and put them on and um it was so hard for me to do that even get up at that time to do it um and then i went back to sleep and then the devil was kind of a little bit busy already in the morning okay but we are going to rebuke that spirit that bad spirit in the name of jesus okay and we are going to claim that today is going to be a beautiful, a wonderful day because I am every woman, you are every woman, and it's all in me, and it's all in you, period. That is the motivational quote for today. So with that being said, I am about to get in the shower, put on some clothes, and I will come back when I am put together. Um, my mom's going to come down here. She's going to make the collard greens, the macaroni cheese. Again, it's boxed because I told her I don't feel like doing all of that. Okay, homemade baked macaroni and cheese and all the whole steps to that. Okay, the whole shebang. And then she's going to make her ham. And that's going to be it. We're just going to chill, enjoy Joe's company, eat, talk. Y'all, did y'all watch the verses last night? We got to talk, girl. The verses last night, honey, escape came through. They did not come to play. SWV came and slayed in the second um, round because in the beginning, the first round, y'all know. I love them too, but they were like real, like, mm, real stink in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. Candy came with the whole vibes, the whole good vibes. She had a good attitude. She was positive. She was all about uplifting and sisterhood and stuff. But honey, child, that Miss Coco, honey, she she was just tooted up the whole time, the first round. But she got it together. The second round, I guess somebody told her she got some pep in her step. But then again, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, y'all. We don't know what, what, what occurred and what she was dealing with emotionally, mentally. Um, Tiny definitely came and showed out. She didn't come to play. So, shout out to her. But, um, yeah, the verses was amazing. Um, my best friend came over last night and we was turning up, honey. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, MILF7299, M-I-L-F7299, you would have seen my snaps and baby, I was turned up. We ain't had no liquor either. I, I, we were just high off life and the fact that we were like just reminiscing on good times and the times when, when we didn't have kids and, you know, the music just got us there. It just brought us back to the goodies. Um, but yeah, so let me know down below if you guys watch the verses between escape and swv and how did you guys like it whatever whatever um to me they both did an amazing job um i'm not really i don't i can't really say who won who didn't but i would say this they both came came and showed out um and yeah so that was my night last night um she went home around like i want to say 12 o'clock so i went to bed kind of late y'all yeah but it was worth it because we hadn't seen each other in about two months, y'all. We worked so much. Um, Mariah works about three jobs and collectively. And then with me, I work, you know, I'm a DSP, so um, my job is essential. So I work some weeks it's every day. Some weeks, you know, I do my two and a half day shift and then that's it. Or I do, you know, my two and a half day shift and then I work extra shifts through the days that I'm off. So it's a lot. We just, and then with us both being moms, it's just a whole lot. But I'm so happy I got to see her last night. I love you, bestie. And, yeah, so I will see you guys. I will come back and check in. Either I'll show you guys, you know, the process of me cooking and all that good stuff. I'm sorry I did not show you guys me cleaning the neck bones. That was the plan. But it was super early and, yeah. But I love y'all and I'll be back later. I promise. Okay? Promise.
promise, promise, promise. But have an amazing day. Let me know down in the comment section what y'all are cooking because I do want to know. I do care. Let me know if you went to brunch. If somebody cooked breakfast for y'all in bed. Okay? Y'all kids surprise y'all with breakfast in bed. Okay? And your man, your husband. Whoever. I want to know. Because today we all are sh and should be treated and felt like queens. Okay? Especially today. Because sometimes we do. We get overlooked and put on the back burner throughout the weeks and days and months and year because of the kids and family and all that good stuff. So, I hope you guys are feeling special and amazing and doing amazing. And I will see you guys later. Okay? Look, guys, my mom got me this for Mother's Day. It's like a globe. Y'all remember those when back in the day they had the Christmas globes? But this one has a purple rose in it and has glitter on it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to put this on my um, either my entertainment, my little entertainment clear center that I have, y'all, that I showed you guys, or my coffee table. But it's so pretty. Look. All right, y'all, this is Mother's Day dinner, collard greens. We have neck bones, uh, fresh neck bones, the regular ones, and this is the ones that we put inside the, um, these are turkey necks that we put inside the collard greens. Macaroni and cheese and ham, baby. Mm. Hey friends, hey friends, what is up? How are you guys doing today? Happy Thursday, you guys. Um, it is 11.50 p.m. at night, and I have not talked to you guys since, I want to say, Mother's Day. Ooh, that heat is hot. I have the heat on y'all because it's cold. But yeah, y'all, I have not talked to you guys since Mother's Day. Um, Mother's Day weekend or Mother's Day? Yeah, Mother's Day weekend. Um, and here we are. So, yes, it is Thursday, you guys. I just got off work and I just got back over to where I live at. I am right in front of the bank, you guys, of my bank. I'm about to go inside, but I just wanted to quickly come in and um, say hello and say that I hope you guys all enjoyed your your Mother's Day. I hope you guys all had a beautiful Mother's Day. Whether it have whether it has been something had been something simple or extravagant, whatever. I hope you guys were noticed and felt loved on that day. Even though we are um, we matter and we are the most important part of our kids and these families' um, daily routine and daily life. Nonetheless, you guys, um, what's been going on? Just been working, y'all. Literally, um, Monday since Monday, I've been working. I did my shift. Uh, Monday to Wednesday, got off at 3. No, I didn't. Lying. Got off at 11. I did, I did a double. Uh, yes, today, um, I worked 3 to 11 tomorrow. I got to do a double, so I'll be doing 16 hours tomorrow. I'll be up at uh, 9, well, up at like 7 to get to work on time. And then I get off at 11, you guys. And Saturday, I work 9 to 1. So your girl been working literally, uh, I'm almost at 60 hours right now. I'll be probably at 80 by the time the week is up. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys are doing amazing, y'all. I'm exhausted, but I just really wanted to come in and check in and say hello and let you guys know that um, I'm doing well and I hope you guys are doing well. I'm super tired, so when I get home, I'm going to um, go to sleep. I do um, have a Dollar Tree haul coming for you guys. I have some stuff for Do from Dollar Tree that I got. Some good finds. Um, I found this new body wash that I didn't know that they had or that, that Dollar Tree offered. So I will be going um, back tomorrow, you guys. At some point in the day, I'm going to try to sneak out and go get some more things um, that I had seen the last time I went and got that stuff there that's over here in the passenger seat. And I'm going to do a haul for you guys. I might split it up or I don't know. Let me know if y'all want me to do a big haul. But I might just split it up just to make it um, more convenient and less, you know, too much i don't want the video to be too long and then also i need to go to walmart so tomorrow we're gonna go to walmart probably if not we'll definitely go saturday i also want to get my toes done so we'll probably do that saturday being that i get off at one o'clock i have a gift certificate that i never used um that one of my um that my one of my lord that my manager my current manager gave me last year for my birthday that i never used and um the kind of she got it doesn't expire so i can use it whenever that's that's really dope what else, y'all? Oh, I went to McDonald's, y'all. Let me tell you quickly. Because I'm probably like, girl, you're talking too much. But I haven't talked to y'all. So it's like so much I got to catch y'all up on. But I'm trying to talk fast. Anyway. Let me turn this music down. Sorry. Um, So I go to McDonald's. It's like right, right before I hit the bridge, right? To come over here to where I live at. Girl, I get a medium fry, right? Because I was craving some fries. Girl, why the fry, a medium fry, just a medium fry, was $3.66? Girl, what the... What? What? A, a medium fry used to be two dollars, two seventy. 
a large fry was is supposed to be 366 girl i, I said mm, mm. if that don't help me stay the fuck away from stay the freak away from um fast food i don't know what will because girl i love mcdonald fries but not for no 366 i could go to walmart and get two bags of fries maybe more than that or audis all these girl bye mm -mm. i was like yeah no i understand it's a pandemic and i understand that you know businesses have to make their money back but mcdonald's is not a small business okay it is definitely not so they, they need to stop playing themselves anyway y'all i want to tell y'all that and on the way here, y'all, I had um seen I had passed these co um passed these college kids, y'all, and I guess they were they were partying a girl. They all out. They was out over there by the light where I was waiting at, right? So it's like this bar over there. And this the, this car pulls out or whatever. He reverses out from where he was hanging out at, where they were hanging out at with a group of girls. Reverses out and it's a light there, so he's you know re reverses out into a light, into the light. So he waits because the light is red, and I'm behind him. But I had like son told me to be like way far back because girl, you know it's late at night, it's 11:55, people acting crazy. Um, so what you call it? So then I pull up a little bit. He decides to I guess park because it's, it's cars over here on this side. He decides I guess he want to park, but then when he um parks girl he reverses too much back that he hits the, the the line of cars that was behind him girl i said mm. i said whoever comes out in the morning and sees their car gonna, for work or whatever or you know start their day they're gonna be pissed off because that that car hit that black car super hard so i, I was like yeah them college kids is drunk up or whatever i said but where's the police when you need them where where because if that was somebody you know of color they would have been pulled you over oh you're tugging oh you don't have no lights on oh i stopped you because you were speeding or i stopped you because you ran a stop sign blah 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 it, they would have found some type of excuse to pull you over right and frisk you and every freaking thing else they could think of but you don't pull these people over and there ain't no police out monitoring you know over there in that area child i'll tell you anyway it's a contradiction for me I swear to gosh Anyway, y'all, I love y'all so much. I hope you guys are being safe, being, um, wearing your mask still because we still got to wear our mask. Keep in mind, pandemic is still going on. The C virus is still here. And even though things are opening back up and things are being lifted and the number of people that can be in a facility or a building together is, is lifted or expanding or, um, being raised higher to a higher number, we still have to, to, um, take our precautions and we still have to wear our mask. We still have to... Do all those things and social distance still, even if we are vaccinated, because we, you know, we just want to make sure that we are doing our part. Um, girl, they is out tonight, girl. You see two chicks right now walking with drinks in your hand. I tell you, it, it's like it's like wildfire, like roaches, honey. Um, they flying out. But anyway, y'all, because it's literally a college right over here, and my bank is like in this plaza thing with a liquor store, two delis, a pizzeria, and a tattoo shop, and then like another salon, hair salon. Anyway, y'all, in the gas station. So, it's it's a lot going on. Y'all see them two girls right there? Yeah. Two just walked this way. Anyway, y'all, let me let me go. And, hello. So, I'm in the car minding my business talking to my friends. And they worry about what I'm doing. I ain't the one drunk. Okay? I ain't had no liquor in my system at all. I need a drink, but I ain't had none. Anyway, y'all, I got a vlog coming soon. Um, Don't worry. But um, tomorrow, yeah, so tomorrow we're going to go to Starbucks because you're um, treating myself. We're going to go to Starbucks. I've been being really good. Haven't been buying anything. Also, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to like work as much as I can because Markaya is not here, y'all. So I'm just trying to bust out the extra hours that I can do because it's super hard to do it when she's here. When when I like when she's in my care, it's hard for me to work the extra hours because I already like feel guilty and I'm already I already feel sad when I'm away from her with my two and a half day shift because I stay the night at my job. So it's already hard enough doing that. So when I try to do extra hours on top of that and she's at home with my sister and my mom, I feel super guilty. I know that she knows. It's for a greater purpose for her life. It's for her to have a good life. It's for her to live comfortably. It's for her to not know what the struggle is like. I just still feel guilty. I know all of us parents, mothers, fathers, whatever, can all relate to that. Especially if you're a decent one. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to go to Starbucks. So, yeah, girl. I don't know if I'm going to get um, a... I wanted to try the dragon fruit tea, I think it is. Or the dragon, mango dragon tea. But I am hooked to the strawberry refresher. Love it. 
Let me know down below what is your favorite Starbucks drink. And let me know if y'all tried the strawberry refresher with no lemonade. Try it if you haven't. Um, I want to try it with lemonade to see if is this is I don't know if the lemonade gonna make it more sweeter or sour. Anyway, it's super good. And I want to try the the kiwi strawberry one. That's the green one. The kiwi strawberry refresher. I want to try that one. But yeah, y'all. I just wanted to come and check and say I love y'all. I love all my friends. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me, hanging with me, supporting me. Um liking the videos commenting under videos and just conversating with me i appreciate that i really really do um make sure you guys go and follow me on instagram because if you are not following me you're doing something wrong also make sure you hit that subscribe button over here over there because if it's right on your end you're definitely doing something wrong with that um <clears throat> and yeah we're growing every day you guys um over here as well as on instagram but my instagram is always down in my description box below and down in the description box below lord Ashanti underscore Markaya. So definitely look me up. It's my pretty face as my profile. So if you see me, go ahead and look me up, y'all. And yeah, I'm going to go home, you guys. I'm going to go run the bank first, girl. Come out, and then so then that's one less thing I got to do in the morning. And then I'm going to go home, um, record the Dollar Tree haul for y'all. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's depending on how I feel. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, which will be Friday. Y'all have a blessed and safe one, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.